Alright guys, welcome back to Mod Bros. This is a sort of a special video. We're going to be announcing some new things we have coming to the channel. The future of the channel and some stuff we've been working on. Um, so right here uh, is a new pistol um, that we're developing. We're calling it the Slide. Mm -hmm. It's sort of based on the Sex Pistol, if you know about that, or on Nerf Haven, and then also the rogue version of Captain Slug with the Chonkla. Or if you're more familiar with the Venturi, same principle. Mm -hmm. Same principle of sort of mag-fed pistol sort of thing. Now, uh, we still have multiple... Yeah. Uh, currently, this handle is made to run off the katanas. Plan on making a Talon one. I don't know how possible it is to do the universal magwell. We tried to do that initially, but it didn't work. So I may just we may just have to do two separate handle designs. And then there's still some revisions that we need to move, make new. This slide is going to get changed. Uh, this piece, which is the pusher, uh, was originally going to be made out of CBC, but I think for mass producing and then just general overall precision. Uh, I have a, I've modeled this in 3D so that I can just print that out instead. Uh, it is gonna be running off of some CBVC hardware for directing the airflow with the CBVC T and elbow. And then it has a sink drain plunger tube. And then besides the plunger rod, everything else is gonna be 3D printed as you guys can see here. Uh, it, currently, as you guys can see, that's a full foot of brass to sort of give you a scale for the pistol. And here is a recon, it's a little bit, it's a bit longer, but I mean, when you add barrels to a recon to get 200 FPS, you have about this long of a barrel, I'd say, probably. So it actually comes out to be slightly shorter than that. handle of handling, but if you lined up the, the back. Well, yeah, I was just lining up handles. Yeah. Just see how it feels. Mm -hmm. Cause this, this is gonna be mag fed through the handle so the katana just pop right in like that. And that's how it's going to be held in place. This is just a temporary sort of handle. We were trying to revise how the mag is retained. And then afterwards, I'm going to be making these pieces that you just pop on to make it all rounded and comfy and whatnot. So that's sort of giving you the scale. This is a katana mag. Uh, but it's going to have a decently sized plunger tube. This is, on, this is probably going to be the actual usable portion, about that much draw, probably. Uh, feeding half lengths. And the intention was we really liked the Venturi and then the original Sex Pistol designs. I'm a big fan of pistols, so is Tucker, and so... We're a f we like the concept of Venturi, but we don't... Yeah. We're confused by it. Because this yeah. is about 14 inches so long. From here to here is 14 inches long, and then the barrel length may be adjusted, so it might... So the length is currently unknown at this point, but it's still a decently wieldable just pistol I'm like I'm definitely gonna run out of the pistol uh, if people want I could maybe think of designing like a stock that comes off the grip and whatnot but it is gonna be slide primed uh, with this part my plan is to have a T handle on the back to make it really easy to prime but then you can also prime out this slide again this slide is being changed uh, but the biggest thing that we wanted to do was the chonkla is magazine fed and it, it ran off like PVC magazines which had to be like homemade and so I made this to use katanas since that's just what I have and I feel people like katanas and whatnot and then so it'll be kind of similar to a pigeon oh that's a problem yeah how they don't line up well the handle's gonna need some revisions then or maybe the trigger you can make it thinner like height height wise um, true <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to do that because I'm looking at actually the barrel tilt down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to thin out the trigger. Yeah. Well, alright, back to the drawing board then. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, this is still definitely just prototype. Uh, it's not even fully assembled yet. So, we're going to definitely have multiple revisions down the road. Things that we need to change, things that we need to improve. But the plan is to make this have a decent sized plunger volume and take anywhere from long shots, K26, to maybe even like retaliator size springs. So pretty much whatever spring you want from here, hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. And then the, another big aspect that we like 
is I wanted to keep the magazines removable, but also I'm trying to figure out a way so that you can top load. If I'm lining that up correctly. Yeah, you can top load the magazine while the breech is closed because I'm a big fan of the speed load six and the quick 16 being able to reload whilst also having a dart loaded and ready to fire. And I like, I like top loading. I think it's a really great idea to be able to top off your mags whilst they're still in the blaster and not have to change your magazines or anything. But I also like the idea of changing your mag. So I want to be able to do both. And that's sort of how I did the Kronos. But I, the problem with those is the Kronos and the Magnus and all those internal mag systems and the Venturi. The big problem that I don't have that they have is that you have to open the breach in order to load them. I don't really like that. And so my plan is to make this thing. And because because the airflow comes from the plunder tube up here into the barrel and not back here, I believe we can have an open style pusher like this. As you can see, this doesn't line up properly because the trigger is too tall and then this is also too long on a piece of CVC. But this is going to line up there and you'll be able to top load the magazine whilst the breach is closed. So that is at least the intention. Uh, don't, don't mock the colors. We've just been printing things in random order, so filament <laughs> change. But yeah, so. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. This is Jacob's design. I'm working currently on my own design. Um, I've put more cosmetics into it. Uh, mine's designed for talons right now, but of course I'm going to have a katana handle as well. Um, same concept though, reverse springer with mag fed through the handle. They look similar, function similar. We're, we might do both designs available or combine them at some point once we refine both designs. Um, once I finish mine, I'll put a picture of it on Instagram before I start printing it and then I'll release the finished built version of it. Um, it should be cool. Um, I'm excited for it. I have other plans for 3D printed Mod Bros blasters. Um, if you've heard of the the Ace, um, which I don't know if you have it. It's like there was like a leaked video that was on Facebook, and then it got taken down. It's a it's a blaster, but from Jet Blaster. Yeah, it's a it's it's like the Sita, but for long shot. Which I'm a huge long shot fan. Jacob really likes to see because he likes recons, and it's cool because it has takedown capabilities, and it's super cool. Functions just like a long shot. Um, yeah, so it, it runs off of like long shot in terms of like their yeah. Omega kit and their Alpha kit and whatnot, and all the other uh, long shot parts that are on the market. But it has a shell that is takedown functionality, which is great. Yeah, and I'd I'd want it to be able to work with my Omega kit. That if you've seen that video, we made it work with full length. Um, I have a flywheel pistol that I'm designing. Should be cool too. I have a few other things that I'm working on, just smaller things like cages and whatnot. Um, but we have other stuff going on. We have a Patreon now at patreon.com slash modbros. Um, I announced it on Instagram. You might have seen it, might not have. But it'll be super cool because with more patrons you'll be able to get exclusive content like us like dicking around trying to build this kind of stuff um special exclusive like behind the scene look at stuff you can tell us like directly what you want us to build or work on next yeah it's a really nice way for where if you want to see something to have your voice be heard and whatnot and like there. There are a lot of ideas out there that like we hear, but no, we don't really get interested in. But if you support us on Patreon, then we're more likely to do what you ask us to. Because mm -hmm. you can sort of just maybe even do like commission work through that. I don't, I don't really know how Patreon works, but yeah, it, it'll help us with extra money every once in a while. It'll help us like build this stuff. We might be able to get another three D printer if the demand's high enough for stuff like this. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to. Get, probably get better quality equipment because 
uh, behind the scenes, our current camera mount is a Razor scooter. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't know we were going to tell them this. <laughs> Our light's taped up. It's a GoPro and a mount that connects to a, a pipe, which is, yeah, the scooter. I mean, it works, but it sure is janky as we shit. We use the scooter to balance over the top of Tucker's workbench, and we don't really have any mic besides the one on the GoPro. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> um... I mean, you guys have seemed to like the content that we're putting out, so like it's working, but I'm not currently happy with the setup. <laughs> we announced this a while ago, but I, I have better control of what's happening now. Uh, I want to start doing gaming videos. We tried it a while ago, we weren't getting content that we were happy with, so we stopped for a little bit. Yeah, and with Jacob's design, he has the pump arms coming out of the back. Oh, yeah. So there's going to be two internal pump arms that go up to the pump, uh, the catch, uh, catch housing up here, and that's going to move back, and then that'll catch onto a plunger rod and compress the spring and then pull it back forward, and those are going to come back all the way through the back here, and then I plan to make the T-handle pull that you see on, like, a Kronos and whatnot to make it really easy to climb and hopefully get a nice ready to fire out of it and so yeah the handle's gonna get some more action and the trigger something sort of like uh, this yeah on his chronos mm -hmm. a nice little just loop pull that you can throw three fingers around and pull back on um, on my right. design i don't have that but if people like that i can add it in it's not super difficult i'm just gonna be honest with you right here now people like that people like that that's true Everyone puts the, the everyone puts the thing on the chronos. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Also, since since we plan on making this something that is not only just for us but for other people, if you have any sort of design ideas, happy to hear them. Definitely think I could improve upon this a lot. Uh, before you say anything about the handle, I understand. I'm working on it. No, we, have, we have plans <laughs> I'm for it. it. This is just this is definitive prototype. Point zero 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 one. Like I, I not <laughs> zero 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 Where? one because we have okay, yeah, another handle. We do have another handle. That one was garbage from the start. Garbage from the start, and you can see that it's but been, this one. It's been put this together. This one was oh, there's a you glued hair to it. Uh, so this one was designed with just like oh yeah, let's just make a handle, and then we did it. And it's not it's not it's not uncomfortable. It's pretty fine. Like honestly, it's decently comfortable. The issue is, I just made the walls too too thin, and so they didn't print well. And then also the dimensions weren't right. Also, the dimensions just weren't right, just because I measured the mag correctly. Because I, I originally I made this when I just had a ruler. <laughs> yeah. Now <laughs> we own a micrometer. Originally I just had a ruler, and I was just sort of making this freehand basically. But now we have a micrometer that I can actually use and actually be like precise with measurement mm -hmm. and also this had an issue with layer adhesion to the bed that it like came up yeah crimped those areas but yeah so this was like this was version this, this was, was version one. one and there have been multiple improvements purely purely focused on just getting the magazine to be retained in there and there is an issue where it currently goes too far but that's i think that's only an issue with this one just because this one ha currently has foam in it like the magazine because it is a little too long. And it would get stopped by the CTV. It would get stopped by the slide. Anyway, yeah. so it's not a big video. Uh, but yeah, so there are plans to make comfy handle version. So calm down about that. And also, I understand it's lengthy, but it's... It's not that thing. It's not really designed to be run as a secondary. So for those of you who are looking at like a pistol for being a secondary, it's not really that because it's but you people who run Kronos as you, secondaries. Yeah, if I get a Kronos, this thing is like not super big compared to a Kronos. And honestly, it probably holster. Well, it holster better than my Kronos. But it would holster about as good as a normal Kronos because you can just throw this into something and then it would be fun. We may, we may even design a holster directly for the slide. So if you like big pistols, then you can run this as, as a secondary. But this was originally designed to be run more of as a primer yeah. and so our goal is to get uh at least 200 fps with the foot of brass which i think it would be more than possible and then also 
have really nice feeding and functionality and whatnot. Because, like, I love running pistols as a primary. So I'm a big fan of pistols. And I think running this would be really nice. Like, it's easily pointable forward. This has pretty much all the parts into it that would make it super front heavy. And even with this uncomfortable handle, it's not terrible. The only issue with the handle is that there's sharp points, but that's about it. I'm gonna fix that by putting a sleeve over it. And so I'm open to a lot of criticism, but you're just like, no, what I know? <laughs> like, um, the flywheel pistol, I'm designing it more for a secondary because that's what I need. Yeah, I think a flywheel secondary would probably be better if you want to run like a mag fed secondary. Mm -hmm. Flywheel would probably be the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, the, there's several flywheel blasters out there that people run. There's, like, the Goblin, the FTL. Are you talking just 3D print? Just 3D print. Mm -hmm. um, we got the pigeon, Woozy, the, the Falcon, Pigeon, the Falcon, Grass Snake, Grass Snake, Night Snake, Twig Snake. There's several snakes. There's several snakes. Um, and mine... Honestly, too many even count. But yeah, none of those, except like the ones designed for like primaries, hit like over 160. And that's a big thing for me because I, you may have seen the Hurricane Strife cage. It runs off of Hurricane wheels and it's a dual stage. You can go grab one. I thought there was one. I'm sure you've seen it. It's really cool. I like it, but it fits in a strife and strife. I I'd use as a secondary because I like bulky loadouts. But I want something that's a lot more like real steel sorta. Um, Mac fed through handle, semi-auto, high FPS. I'm I want like 180, 200 yeah, FPS. Yeah. This, of course, this is a rough print. I didn't turn on supports, which was a mistake by me. But you can see how it works. Motor, 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 motor. I think it's designed for honey badgers. But yeah, the idea behind this is really cool. I like how compact it is. And you said, what did you say for the performance on this? It's with AccuFakes, 200 FPS with a 3S LiPo. Like, that sounds amazing. Like, it, it's designed for a dual stage in the size of one stage, yeah. which is really cool. But it's, it's a little tall. Which that's how the, that's, the pigeon that's how the pigeon gets away with it because it uses. Hmm? I thought no pigeon is horizontal. Is it really? Yeah. The pigeon uses smaller wheels. It uses flywheel the world micro wheels, which are I think I was measuring it last night. It's like six millimeters smaller than the hurricane wheels, but gosh, it really makes that big of a difference, <laughs> right? It's so small. Like, I could have the numbers wrong. I might have misremembered them off of out of darts, but you can't hit 200 FPS purely based on the physics behind the wheels because it doesn't have enough surface speed to speed the dart up to 200 FPS. That's why they mostly max out at like 150. I want something in between the FTW wheels and the Hurricane wheels, something like 80 millimeters. I think, um, which isn't a crazy thing. Um, I don't see why you couldn't do this. Because, yeah, I could, but it's like, I want something a little more compact. And it'd be smaller than this and bigger than the flywheel of the world motors, or flywheels. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm thinking tri-stage. Could, I could get away with dual stage, maybe, but I'd have... I feel, like, I feel like three stages is a lot for a secondary. Yeah? Just, like, putting six motors into a secondary that you're not really going to use that much. I guess it's true, but... And then also could... the battery. In order to run six motors, you need a bigger battery. I was thinking 3S, and you just would overvolt the Honey Badgers or Valkyries or whatever's in them. I think... Oh, this isn't terribly wide. It's not. I was measuring it last night. Just have it like there. Hmm. Oh, it's up to you. So, I have yet to even put designs for. I don't have a name for it yet. <laughs> the flywheel pistol into CAD. 
I have drawings, but other than that, it's still just a thought. Um, that should come out 2020, though, after this. Uh, yeah, speaking of, like, time frame, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping to get everything done by February, yes. March at the latest. Yeah, of the slide. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah. which we'll, we will be posting updates on our Instagram mm -hmm. from, like, here on out, now that everyone knows about it. We mostly just wanted to not do anything until we actually, like, fully, like, made it. And was like, oh, hey, this could totally work. Which is sort of where we're at right now, where it's like, all right, this might actually amount to something. Yeah. Let's see what the people think. Um, I have some plans. I think Jacob has in implemented them, but just differently how I'm going to. We want like a quick change spring option. Um, see, this is the inside right here. Plunger tube would sit here, and plunger rod and spring would be in this area. And it sits in here where CPVC, I'm doing 3D printed stuff, mostly, with some aspects. As you can see there, there is one of the revisions we had to make. But it's fine, I'm just going to have one tube sit in here, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so the, the main, like, sort of troublesome point for this is I mainly have been designing, I've only been really designing the parts that I feel benefit from being 3D printed and so like using CPVC parts that cost like 30 cents each. I don't see any issue with that and so I plan on using as many of those as possible and then that's the big reason why the plunger rod's not even gonna be 3D printed, that's gonna be made out of nylon. It's just they're very simple pieces that don't I feel don't need to be 3D printed and they don't benefit from being 3D printed and so that's the way I sort of went into designing it. Tucker has his different opinions and so he's making his own for reason. I'm making my own, but I'm doing a lot of the stuff that Jacob has done because it's just, it's easier to design that way. Plunger rod, I think it's smart to do it this way, non-3D printed. Um, I like the threaded rods because it's just easier that way. Uh, yeah, so we took some of the, kind of took some ideas from the, the caliber and it's running two main threaded rods that are all the way down the middle of the blaster and then there's another one that's at the bottom. Yep. So I sort of just hold the plunger tube area together. And then that's about it. The front plate and front half of the slide, it sort of just pops onto the front. I may want to like reinforce that connection, but I don't really have any ideas as of right now. And then the rear slide is moving and whatnot. I may add some slots for it to connect on there to not properly or whatnot, but it's about it for the blasters. This will be like the lower half, <laughs> lower receiver. Yeah, on mine, I'd I'm gonna have a takedown option just to help, like, open it up easier, because I'm having two takedown options for the front bit, which which would be this on Jacobs. Functional similarity. Um. Jacob recently changed the slide so it's a little closer to mine. So, we have some new stuff going on this year. Um, I hope you're excited for it. I'm pretty excited for the possibilities of 3D print blasters made by us. I'm excited for the Patreon. And I'm excited for gaming videos. Um, which hopefully will start soon. <laughs> I hope that's not on. If you guys can hear that, it's, I'm pretty sure it's been throughout the video. <laughs> it's, know. if you can hear it, it's the water heater. Um, it just turns on randomly um, for the heat in the house, obviously. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys uh, like this video. It's going to be a bivvle. It's a longer video. I think probably try to edit it down to like 20 ish minutes hmm. but I'm gonna modify these <laughs> modify the CPPC yeah, where they fit together. are it's you not just gonna put a coupler in between the two to connect them is it's that what you're tall. talking about oh
If you liked this video, leave a like. If you have anything to talk to us about, we're free on Instagram. We look at the comments. Um, if you haven't yet, if you want more updates on the slide coming out, follow us on Instagram. I believe it's linked in the description below. Um, or just subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, oh, follow us on or become a patron on Patreon. That's a new thing we're gonna have to start saying. <laughs> um, and because we can, I'm gonna ask them a question we've we've been thinking about. <laughs> leave your opinion. Leave your opinion in the comments below. Is a cheesecake a cake? Or a pie. We're firmly in the pie area. Uh, you say a cake. We're gonna have crumbs and cones. Yeah, cake is is a no go. It's not a cake. But we, we will partially accept an answer of it's a tart. That and is still if, up for debate. If you can truly defend your answer of it being a cake, we'll we'll appreciate it. But we're gonna disagree with you. Well, depends on, the depends on how convincing you can be. <laughs> Try and convince us it's a cake. <laughs> Cheesecake is a pie, changed my mind. <laughs> but we're gonna leave you with that question, leave you with all this new information that's coming out. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. This one's a special, I'm hoping this will be able to go up on Christmas day. So Merry <laughs> Christmas guys. Merry Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas. Have a holiday. Have, have holidays. Happy hol have a holiday. Have a holiday. Have a holiday. Christmas, <laughs> happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy <laughs> New Year's. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. It's yeah. together. Hey, girl. How go? No. No. <laughs> no.